We're going to talk about coaching and how to coach your appointments so that they hold, so you get a higher hold rate, so that you have higher um, sales at your appointments, so that you have more bookings from your appointments, and team members as well. Because if you are not good at coaching your appointments, so Mary Kay always said, you know, a, a party worth booking is worth coaching, right? Isn't that what she said? Yeah, that's, that's right. What she said. That's what okay. She said. I thought everybody was like, that was the first time you all heard that. Okay, well, Mary Kay said that if it's worth booking, it's worth coaching, okay? And really, you know what? We can book people, can't we? Like, we can ask someone for their opinion of the products and book them for an appointment. But coaching is where the real, not work, but effort comes in. You know, coaching takes an actual mindset that you are going to. Um, put some effort into that booking so it holds and so you get really good results from it. So some of the things that we want to remember when we're booking an appointment is that we always want to make it what's in it for her. That is huge. You want to make it all about her. It's always fun to share your goal with your hostess um, and with your booking. You know, tell her, I'm so excited our unit is you know, only 100 parties away from earning our pink Cadillac. We only have 100 people that need to book parties with us in our unit. You know, tell her about your goal, but you want to make it all about her. You know, so I'm just looking for some awesome women who will partner with me that I can shower with lots of freebies, little perks. Whatever fun words you want to put in there is really key. I like the word perks. I like shower, you know, because it just has a feeling of, ooh, I'm so pampered, right? Okay. So going back to what you want to really, you know, say, the kinds of words, pick really like creative and really um, nice words that you want to say to her, like shower and pamper her with all kinds of perks. So that makes her feel really good and ask her, what did you, what did you try tonight that you'd love to get for free? So these are ways that you're going to prepare her for the booking, for being a hostess, for being a really good hostess. You want to find what's in it for her. Okay, the next thing I want to say about, and that's kind of done at the party, okay, when you're face to face with her, knee to knee, eyeball to eyeball at the party when you're doing the individual close. But there's other places that you're going to do coaching, but I want to talk to you for a second as the coach. Okay, you as the coach, the beauty consultant who is coaching the appointments. There's two things that I want to tell you right now, and you have to do this. You have to tonight, if you leave this and you watch all the tips I'm going to give you and the process and it's great and everything, there's two things I want you to decide tonight that you're going to do, okay? The first one is I want you to stop changing everything every single week. <laughs> stop changing your system, stop changing your methods. Stop coming up with this and doing that tonight, this weekend, when you get home from career conference by Sunday night, I want you to firmly get down your coaching program. It's going to take you one hour. Commit to one hour in your business and get your coaches, your coaching program down and solid. Okay? Stop changing what you're doing. Get it together. Decide how you're going to do it and stick to your plan. Write it out if you have to, so you know exactly what you're going to do when you coach your appointments. Because here's what happens. I've been in the business not nine years. I know. I've changed my process a million times. It's never, you will never perfect your coaching unless you stick to what you're doing. Just like, I mean, Kamiko, you're a perfect example of sticking to your referral game. And you've perfected it. And you're getting the results that you want. So you have to figure out what you're going to do and then stick to it. Okay, everybody, we promise me that you'll do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to give you some stuff tonight. I don't necessarily say that you have to do exactly what I'm doing to coach, but stick to your program. All right? The next one is you're going to take some time in the next week to prepare and organize yourself. You're going to sit down, turn off your cell phone, and you're going to focus on the task of actually organizing your coach your coaching program it actually takes mental energy to do that and every time that you see bling, 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 whatever it is you know your phone makes woof, woof, 
quack, quack. <laughs> Phones make all kinds of sounds, right? Quack, quack, quack. It distracts you, and you really need to mentally focus. How am I going to execute this? Okay? So make a decision what you're going to do, and then get it down, get it done, prepare yourself, organize yourself. And when you organize yourself, I don't just mean write out what you're going to do and have a plan. I mean actually make the copies, put them together, get the postcards printed, put your hostess packets together, have it all down, and then have a list of how you're going to do it. Because here's what happens. You get a booking, you're like, a glorious booking. I have a booking, a party, I'm so excited, right? And then two days goes by and you haven't asked her for the guest list. Mm -hmm. And then a few more days go by and you're like, oh, I really gotta write that email about getting the guest list. I better sit down and do that because you don't already have it done and drafted. And then your hostess packets, you don't even know where your lookbooks are. So <laughs> you can't send that to her. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you just prepare, it's gonna be so easy because you're gonna get the book and you're gonna go like this, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam, and you're done. You know what you're doing and you've got it down and you're perfecting it and you're becoming a master. And this business is not difficult. It's really just skill based. But if you decide how you're gonna do it, it's easy. Just master the skill, master the technique. So you can be an excellent and amazing master coacher of all your appointments. Can't you? Yes. Yes, I can. Everybody yes. say it. Yes, yes I, can. I can. All right. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about how you're going to do it. I know. I hope that means you're all learning. Okay. Yes. All right. So here's a great six, uh, sheet. And now, like I said, you don't have to use this sheet, but this week you're going to decide what sheet you're going to use. I believe wholeheartedly in having a sheet to track your party, okay? Um, I think that, now if this isn't for everybody, you might just use post-it notes. But when you have everything in one place and you can see where you are, you can use this. Even if she have your schedules, you just change the date. You know, just mark it off and change the date. So I just want to show you what it looks like, and I'm actually going to talk to you about the process of coaching, okay? But the top, you've got her name, her information where you're having the party, that's really important. I've had one time in my nine years that I went to the wrong address for the party because I didn't write it down. And I went to her house and it was at someone else's house. That was fun. Um, but the party date, time, the hostess rewards, because you may have promised her like $10 for every person that shows, or you might be using our normal hostess program, or you might just be giving her $25 with a couple friends. So you wanna have that down there. <clears throat> when her guest list is due, pre-profiling is due, those are just dates for you to know, and send a reminder. Okay, so we're gonna talk about coaching the party right now. So right after you get a booking, you're so excited, right? You're like, I have a party, I'm so excited. So what, what's the first thing you're gonna do? What's the first thing you're gonna do? Anybody know? What you say? You got the booking, what are you gonna do? Pull out my sheet. You pull out your sheet? <laughs> Write everything down on the sheet, yes! Can I tell you, I have a booking for April. I have a party in three weeks. I didn't write it down on a sheet and I went, oh, I forgot to write it down on a sheet so I didn't even know if I had gotten her guest list yet. So you see what I'm saying? Like it's left. So here is kind of a, this isn't formatted very well, but we're gonna send this all out to you. And a lot of this I've taken, Donna has a great PDF put together with all the scripting and stuff, and I love it. She's done great coaching on this. I do mine just slightly different. I don't send out tons and tons and tons of post postcards, but we all do it different. So just figure out what works for you. This is kind of an email. So what you would do is you're gonna book the, book the appointment. You're gonna immediately send her an email. Okay, and in this email, it says when you booked, what the details are, what she's gonna enjoy, what she's gonna receive during the pampering time. It has down here, it's complimentary. There's the website, you can try it out, see what's on my website. And then it says, until I receive confirmation on the date and any emails for the evite, your appointment time is not secured. So please respond quickly to ensure your schedule time. And if you send me your guest list in the next 48 hours um, for your party, I'm gonna give you a free lip gloss. You don't send the lip gloss to her in the mail though, okay? I'll tell you what to do with that. 
So you're gonna send that to her right away when you have the booking so she gets that. I would even send her a text too because I'll tell you, people read texts it's, I think, 80% faster. Your text is likely to be read in the first hour by 80% of the people that you send it to. So I would send her a text as well, kind of saying the same thing, but in a shortened format, and maybe even text her a picture of that lip gloss thing, you know, something like that. You're just getting it out to her saying, we've booked, but it's not secured until I get your guest list. So send it to me. And if you want the free lip gloss, make sure you get it to me in the first 48 hours. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to do. Once she sends, now if I met someone at a party, if I met June at a party and she booked with me, June is right there in front of me at the party. I'm going to go ahead and give her her hostess packet right there at the party, right? Makes mm -hmm. sense because she's sitting right there. I'm going to kind of go through it with her. But if you've booked someone and they weren't at a party, maybe it's a lead from a, a networking event or um, bridal fair or something like that and you didn't meet them at a party you're gonna have to send that hostess packet to them okay you're gonna send it to them in the mail don't send it to them until you get the guest list oh okay cuz you're gonna you can save yourself some time some money by not mailing out the hostess packet and you know it's not cheap to do that because she already is excited about booking there I, I get guest lists from this all the time all the time and they don't even know what the hostess program is so don't send the um, hostess packet out until you get the guest list. And what are you going to put in the hostess packet? We get these great bags from my girlfriend's house. These bags are cellophane bags and they are mailable. You don't have to put these in a separate envelope. They go through the mail just like this. Seal it. Well, I should reverse the catalog to have the happy face on the front. I put a label, my return label, and um, the postage here. You can mail it just like that. If I come home and I go get my mail, and the first thing I do is I see if there's a catalog there. Like, I just got one today from some athletic store. I don't even know where that is. But uh, yeah, I just, you know, look for the catalog and I look for coupons. Some fun stuff, you know, that I can use. So if this came in your mail, would you be like, oh, what is that in that cute yeah, bag? Cute. Yeah. Hello, what is that? So she opens it up, and what's in the hostess packet that you've sent her? The first thing is, I love this. This is not my idea. I got this from someone else. But look, she opens it up, and big and bold, it says, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay? <clears throat> All right, here it is. Thank you. <clears throat> now, I just printed mine on dollar store paper. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you can get this paper at the dollar store. Packs of 20 for a dollar. It's not like high quality paper, but it looks pretty when she opens it up, right? So, and it says on there, Lisa, thank you for hosting a Mary Kay party for me. I'm seriously so thankful to know you. You're helping me achieve my huge dream of earning a pink Cadillac. <coughs> I have the date of your party set as blah, blah. Thank you for sending your guest list to me within 48 hours. See, you've already gotten it, right? You've already gotten the guest list. You're mm -hmm. thanking her. You'll receive your free lip gloss at your party. Yay! What shade will you choose? Check out my website for all the glamorous colors. Oh, and just remember to claim your, now this is if you're running the ring program that we offer. Okay, I just put a little disclaimer in there about the Glitz and Glam ring. Just remember to claim your free Glitz and Glam cocktail ring. There needs to be four women attending and over $300 in sales outside orders count. You can use the enclosed order forms to pass around to friends that can attend. Thank you for partnering with me in my huge dream. And then my information on the bottom, okay? So, wouldn't that be nice to read that from your, you know, that you're helping her out with something and she's going to get all this stuff. So there's the thank you. There's the hostess program. You don't have to use this one. This is the one that we use, you know. There's other ones out there that you can choose to use. We're all independent and you can choose whatever one you want to go with. But that's the one that we usually go with. There's the outside order form. I like this one because <clears throat> this actually has a place on it for them to check off 
if they are interested in an appointment with you. So look at this. See this? So let's say she gets three or four, five or six outside orders from people that she knows at work, they can't come or you know, they just need a mascara and they read this and they're like, I would love a free facial and glamour makeover. I'm interested in earning free products. There's an opportunity for you to follow up with people, whether or not they check stuff off, you're going to follow up with them. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But it gives them an opportunity to kind of think about how, you know, how you could get together with them as well. So that's the outside order form. And then always put something in your hostess packet about the opportunity. You know, always put something in there. So you can just put the coach postcard in there. Because she's going to go, oh, listen to a chance to win a coach handbag. I'll call that on my way to work. You know, and she can listen to that and get some information about the opportunity before you even get there. And even as part of your coaching, when you're talking with her, you can say, hey, did you see a little postcard that I put in there for you? Um, if you have time to listen to that before I get there at the party, I'll give you a blah, blah, blah. You know? Give her something. I'll give you a free gift for listening just before I get there at the party. So have her listen to that before you even get there. That would be great, right? Because she's already like, wow, this is a great company. And then you're coming there and selling to all her family and friends. She sees how much you've sold and she's like, hmm, maybe I could do that. So that's the hostess packet. All right, the next thing that you're going to do is you've gotten the guest list and you're going to send out the e-bikes. Okay. You can do the invitations any way you want. I prefer to use eBite. There is the Mary Kay Beauty eBite. But I prefer to use uh, an actual eBite because I can copy my invitation and it's really fast. I can just go to an old one and I can just click copy and it recreates a new invitation with all the same pictures, all the same wording and everything like that. If you, how many of you have never used eBite? Never. Okay, a couple people in here have never used eBite. Most people have. I'll tell you, it's really simple, and if you just play around with it a little bit, <clears throat> if you just play, <laughs> if you play around with it a little bit, you'll find it's super simple. eBite.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's actually even a mobile app that you can use from your phone. So when you're out and about, if you want to check your guest list and see who's coming. You can click and open up the invitation. It'll tell you how many people have RSVP and how many people haven't. So these are just all little things that you have to learn how to do. Now, some people want a mailed invitation, and I actually ask, would you prefer a mailed invitation or an e-bite? And just let them decide. Let the hostess decide. But either way, she's got to get that guest list to you. Okay, so then you're going to send out the e-bite, and you're going to mail the invitations. And I, when, once I send them out, I'm going to just send her a message to say all the invitations are out. Um, you know, so excited. Let's, let's start working on to see who's, who's going to RSVP. Keep me posted. You know, I can see the evite or if she's doing the mail one, you're just going to say, let me know as people RSVP so I know how many people are coming and I can prepare ahead of time. All right. Then, let's see. Oh, and this is our hostess program. Sorry, I should have put this up here too for you. Oh, there it is. This is our hostess program that we kind of use and works really well. Um, it is the company, essentially it's the company program. Okay, it's a percentage of the sales, party sales and free product right here. Um, you can see that she can look at this and you can say, well, $500 in sales and you have two bookings, you're gonna get $100 in free product. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you love to get your miracle set for free? Well, let's shoot for that. You know, attach the product to what she's gonna get for free to make it real to her. And then show her, and not just that, you know what, not just that, for every woman that comes, every guest that attends that night, you're gonna get an additional item at half price. So how many people do you wanna have there? How many things do you want at half price? I want to have I want to get 10 things for half price okay well let's let's work on having 10 people there then so attach obviously what's in it for her again to get the people there now I'm just going to talk to you quickly about the math of this this is the company hostess program that you do not have to use it's in you know we're independent we can choose the hostess program we want to use 
but this is a really good one because it ensures bookings you know, she's going to be talking to people about, you know, what she's getting for free. And she's going to be, you know, planting seeds to get bookings for you. And then the half price stuff, you don't lose any money on half price items. Remember that. So it's a win-win for you and for her. And here's why. <clears throat> if she gets eight items at half price in addition to her free product. Okay, which sounds better to you? You get $100 free or you get $100 free and 10 half price items. Which one sounds better? Right, oh, right. Okay, so she's gonna be like, oh, what can I get for half price? I'm so excited, I can put some more stuff in my bathroom, you know, I could get that lipstick, that mascara, the hand cream, you know, all this stuff that she can get for half price. You don't lose any money off half price item because you're basically giving it to her at cost, okay? The win-win is that she gets on more products. She becomes a Mary Kay lover and user for life, right? Because she's on so many of the products now. Not just the Miracle Set, but the Miracle Set, the foundation, the microdermabrasion, the satin hands, and the perfume and everything else. And she loves it all. It also helps you because it helps towards your star. That's right. So anything that she gets at half price, you don't profit from, but it's wholesale that goes towards your star. Does that look good? Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah, it sounds really good. Okay, so that's how that works. And you can give her a booking gift too when she has two or more guests booked from the party. Um, that's just like, I usually do like a little PCP gift or just something small like that. Anybody have questions about the hostess program real quick before we go on? Yes. Where do you find the information that goes in the packet? That goes in the hostess in packet? The hostess packet mm -hmm. yes. Some of it can be found on our website, on our um, on our own unit website. Mm -hmm. And if there's something that isn't on the website, I plan on uploading it to the Facebook page for files, under files. A lot of the stuff is under the on Facebook too, under files from training from our meetings. You can always check there too. Okay. I have a question. Yes. When you um, set up your e-bike, are you putting your phone number on the RSVP or the hostess? I do the hostess. I, I don't do my, I don't get them to RSVP to me. You, you mean when they are RSVP for the you party? Know, you set it up and you put the actual phone number. And I put hers, yes. Mm -hmm. I do. But the pre-profiling is next. And so that's that's where you can get your number out to the people and get them to respond right back to you. Okay, anybody else? All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is your invites are out and something that you can use too halfway through, um, you know, kind of like, you know, you send the invitations out and maybe the party's not for two weeks. You kind of want to keep it hot, right? You want to, like the bathtub. If the bathtub sits too long, the water doesn't feel too good, right? You want to keep that water hot, right? Add some hot water, keep the energy off, the excitement about the party, right? Okay, so here's a fun thing that you can do. A fun little app, it's free, that you can, now I'm just giving you ideas. Remember, you don't have to do what I do, but um, this is an app where you can make, oh, I guess it's gone. <laughs> it, I did make something just a few minutes ago for you, but uh, I just didn't it. save it. But anyways. Is it saved on your, on your tablet, like in your photo gallery? Your Good idea. Let's see if it went there. Mm -mm. Nope, it didn't. But that's okay. That's okay. But you can use this app right here. And you just play with it. Red stamp, okay? And there's fun little things in here that you can, it's super fast. It takes you three minutes to make one, okay? And you can do, make one here with, um, let's just, I'll just show you one that I like. I, I kind of like chevron right now. I'm kind of into chevron. <laughs> but you can take this chevron and you can put the cute blue and put a picture of the actual, um, well, actually this is good because I can show you how to do it. And then you then you see, put the picture of the, this is just in my photos. So I've just taken the Mary Kay catalog. Okay, and I'm just gonna increase it like this and move it up a little. Like that. Okay, 
okay, and then it says Mary Kay the look, and then we're going to put in here something like, you could put pampering time. And you're just going to save this to your photo stream, your camera roll on your phone, and text it to her, like maybe a couple days after the invites go out. And you could, just because it says join us, you don't have to put the date. That's just fields that you can actually fill in with whatever you want. You can write, 10 days till the party, get excited. You know, an hour of pampering, I know you can't wait. Just something fun, you know, to keep everybody excited about it. Text it to her, to the hostess. If you've got the uh, phone numbers, you can text it right to the guests. It's just something fun to keep everybody interested in the party. And isn't that easy? You can do it when you're just when you're waiting for the metro. You can do it when you're um, sitting in the school line in the in the car line waiting. You know, you can do it anywhere, right from your phone. So it's a little fun thing that you can do. All right, so you're gonna pre-profile. And pre-profiling is the next step to coaching your party because this is where you are making the personal connection with everyone that's coming to the party. I prefer to pre-profile by phone, but does it always happen? No, it doesn't always happen. And sometimes I have to pre-profile by text. Okay, so I have, and this is where another, where you wanna get organized and have everything ready to go. In your notes section in your phone, I have my pre-pro, you know, in the notepad. I just have my pre-profile script right in there and I just copy and paste it and send it to the hostess and ask her to forward to all her friends that are coming to the party. And people, within an hour, you are getting responses because like I said, they read text and they'll respond to a text a lot faster than an email. If I have the guest list, I have the numbers, I send them to, I send it to them personally, right from me. Okay, and I can put that on. I can put the pre-profile script on Facebook. It's very simple, and it just gets them excited about coming. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to call the hostess a couple days before the party, and just you know find out the directions. You know, it's just kind of like you want to contact her voice to, like, you want to make a personal phone call to her. So, confirm the directions, where you're going to park, something. Um, ask her if she looked to pick out her lip gloss, which color does she want for free for getting the guest list to you. Just something like that, you know, and then you're going to be at the party. Okay, so that's my system for coaching a party. And it really doesn't take that long because when you organize yourself and have everything ready, you're literally just copying and pasting and sending stuff out to your hostesses. All right. So anybody have a question about any, any What do you do with that red stamp thing once you make it? Yep, so you just send it to, you just share it, and then you're gonna, for me, I just save it as an image, and now it's saved to my camera roll. So it'll look different on an Android, but just play with it and try it out. So here's, here's mine saved in my camera roll, okay? But what do you do I, with it? Oh, I just, oh, sorry, I, I texted out. I thought I said that. Yeah, like for your pre-profile people. Well, no, this isn't pre-profiling. This is just I would send this to my hostess. It would oh, say okay. something like "10 days to the party, countdown, oh, okay. girl time oh, for an hour." Oh, send okay. it to her. Send it out to the to the people that are coming, the guests. Just something they're gonna get on their phone and be like, "Oh yeah, I almost forgot next oh, Saturday." Like a reminder. Basically. Yes. Like a reminder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and to keep that temperature kind of excitement going for the party. I had one young lady that said that her friends don't do email and all she said they still back in ancient times so I got the phone number so I actually sent the text to each phone number yeah. as the invitation yes so it's really flexible yes it is it flexible it's and amazing. it you it just because you know we're going through it this way doesn't mean you have to do that every time sometimes you'll just the party will be booked she'll give you the guest list before you even send her the confirmation email right so um, this is just a format, so I'm just going to go over it one more time to make sure. Conf uh, send a confirmation email, mail the hostess packet after you get the guest list, you know, send the invitations out, okay, either by e-byte or actually mailed invitations. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to start pre-profiling, <laughs> send a reminder, something like this that you could text. You could actually send a reminder in the evite itself where you can send a message to all the guests too. That's another thing you can do. That's a little limited on how much you can say. And actually, this is so much cuter. Mm -hmm. If you got this, this is more visual. 
Then you're going to call the hostess and thank her so much and find out what her lip gloss shade is she wants, you know, find directions, just confirm everything. And then um, you're going to show up at the party and have a great time. All right, so that's it in a nutshell. We went a little long, but who has a question? Are yes. all these forms on um, Jen's site? All For the hostess house? packet? Yeah, like the, the thank you card and the uh, um, That the thank you packet. email? Yeah. Yeah, those all it, it actually is, but we will up. I will upload it again so okay, you have cool. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, when you put your outside order forms, how many do you usually put in each hostess packet? Well, they don't cost that much, so I put like six to eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's better than using the receipts. You don't want to put six to eight receipts in there. Just use the outside order forms. The receipts are a little confusing to someone that's not normally filling them out, and they're hard to write on their tiny little spaces. You know, this is a lot easier to write on the outside order form. Okay. Where did you get your bags? Mygirlfriendshouse.com. These are called, now I'm going to tell you, these are very inexpensive. They last, you get 100 per pack. If you go on, they're called the cellophane self-sealing, not the gusseted ones. You don't want the ones with the big at the bottom. You want them flat. And then if you look, I don't know what exact size this is, but it will say, as you look through them, it will say fits the Mary Kay lookbook. And that's the one that you want. Mm -hmm. As you scroll down, there's like 9 by 11 and lots of different sizes. And there's one that says fits Mary Kay lookbook. That's the one you want. Sometimes they aren't. Sometimes they are and sometimes they aren't. I was going to say, sometimes the vendors are at career conference, so you'll be able to do some shopping while you're there. Sometimes they are at career conference, and I don't know that they were the last one, so I can't promise, but the shipping is kind of expensive, so go with somebody else and split the shipping. Okay, great.